Hi there, so this is our trip to the island of Isla. Isla, Islay, pretty sure it's Isla. Anyway, bright and early start, the ferry is at one o'clock. You have to check in at 12.30. So to my mind, getting there at 12.30 would be a mistake. It's about a three hour drive from me. So you just imagine that you come across a breakdown or an accident or as can happen up in the highlands, um, a fallen tree or a landslide. We've already been up and over the rest and be thankful. I just stopped for five minutes, stretch my legs. And there uh, you can see we're in the middle of a, a forest setting on our way up to the ferry. A um, couple of things I've done, of course, did my vehicle checks yesterday, did all my fluids, checked my tire pressures, did a walk around this morning and before going past that, not the last gas station, petrol station, filling station, I topped up the tank, which was just about £10 or so. So we now got a full tank of fuel. I've just had a phone call from the island and the whiskey distillery is ready to receive the goods. They weren't sure if someone was going to be there on Sunday. Heck of a long way to go to come all the way back. Anyway, next little clip will be from the ferry. All the best. Okay, hello. Well, <laughs> it is breezy out there. Anyway, so we're at the ferry port now. Uh, glad to be here. Doesn't look too choppy. We'll go and have a look at that in a minute. And unusually, I was asked to go on the Weybridge when I came here. So I went on the Weybridge and the guy came over and he said, yep, you're 2740. Are you loaded? And what are you loaded with? I said, well, I've got a, a load of whiskey. And I know that my tear weight, my unladen weight with fuel and me in it is around 2060. And he came and said it's 2740, so that means it's got 680 kilograms of premium, premium uh, Scottish malt whiskey. But what actually happens when you go to the Scottish islands? Well, what do you have to do? Well, first of all, you're kind of in this situation where you don't know if there's going to be space on the ferry. So you can't book the ferry until you've got the job. So maybe when you quote for the job, you would say, right, is the ferry available? And in that period between quoting for the job and being awarded the job, maybe that ferry space is gone. So you'd be left in a real pickle. And in this case, that's kind of exactly what happened. Initially, the job was booked for pick up Monday, deliver it Tuesday. That wasn't gonna happen. I looked at the, the availability for Tuesday and there was availability. A couple of hours later, the job came through and it's worth pointing out this is a non-CX job. Uh, so there's a bit less pressure. And the job came through and it's like, yeah, Went to book the ferry, nothing on Monday, nothing on Tuesday. Didn't check Wednesday, but the lady did say there is availability Sunday. Got back in touch with the, the shipper's agent and said, look, can't do this, can't do that. But Sunday is available, no problem at all. And I also pointed out that Monday, Tuesday, we are due some big ass weather. So the chances of the ferry running is probably quite slim anyway. Excuse me. So that kind of clinched the deal. He got back in touch with the his client and say look this is the situation as it transpires this van is in Edinburgh on Friday if the guy could pick the goods up on Friday you'll get to the ferry on Sunday and that's where we are now so we're at the ferry terminal we've been in we've checked in we've had our little barcode bleep we've checked the weight of the van and we're now sitting in the queue and we'll have a quick tour around the ferry terminal area okay so no idea how this is going to be 